Alright, today I'll be showing you how to add a parallax effect to your keynote presentation. This could help you capture the attention of your audience and communicate your ideas better. The parallax effect is commonly seen as part of the scrolling feature of a web page. It uses multiple elements, such as different backgrounds, images, and text that are made to look like they're moving at different speeds, creating a depth effect. For this tutorial, I'm starting with something simple. Note that this is not considered a prototype since it's not interactive. This just mocks up the effect of scrolling down websites that contain the parallax effect. So let's begin. I've opened Keynote and created two slides. The first slide contains simple text, hello, and the second slide contains multiple elements, such as these three images of different devices and a little bit more text. The first thing that we're going to do is apply magic move to both slides. To do that, just click on animate, add an effect, and choose magic move. We can change the duration here. Maybe we'll do one second. And make sure you have this box ticked, the fade unmatched objects, and match by object. Do the same for the other slide. To preview this, press play, and you'll see it's a simple transition and nothing magical about it. The way that Magic Move works is that you need to have the same elements present on both slides. To do this, just copy-paste each element present on one slide to the other. To create the parallax effect, I'll have to move each element that I've pasted to the outside of the slide. I'm going to do this first by zooming out so I can see more of the outside. There you go. Now I'm going to select the elements and move them outside. Now I'm going to do the same thing to the other slide. There you go. You may be wondering why I've moved the elements to different directions. This is because we're trying to replicate the scrolling effect that we see on websites. Now let's take a look at what we have so far. To preview, make sure you go back to the first slide and press play. There you go. Now we have a parallax effect applied to our keynote presentation. To make the parallax effect more evident, you'll have to move each element away from each other to create an illusion of having different speeds. let's see what this looks like and there you go now you can create the parallax effect on keynote 